okay guys so today the this video is about the making of the nor gate from the or gate basically it happens that one do not have an access to a nor gate or the nor gate that is being present with the person is, is has been damaged for that reasons if one do have an or gate and a nor gate so by the combination of these two gates we can make a nor gate but before that we can we could just uh, know about the two table and the boolean and the symbols of these gates so number first is going to be about the or gate this is basically the symbol of the or gate in which these two are input and this one is the these two are input and this one is the output boolean mathematical form of the or gate which means that o equals to a plus b and uh, in in this, this is the truth table in which which means that when both of the inputs are zero so the output would be zero which means that the led would be off but when any of the input is one or both of the input are one so the output would be one uh, this one is the symbol boolean mathematical form and the truth table of the node gate you can see here and this one here okay one should remember that in node gate there is basically one input okay there are two inputs there are basically one input in this node gate and uh, output you can see here the circle sign that basically this is uh, for the inversion or in the invert sign which means that if uh, which is you can see from the table that when it input is zero so output would be one when input is one so the output would be zero which which basically means that when led is uh, off or on so by the using the node gets so the led would get uh, if it is on so the led would get off if it is off so it would get on and this is the uh, two table of the node get by the combination of the or and node we will get a node gate and you can see here uh, they are a circle sign basically uh, it is the invert or the opposite sign and this one you can see o equals to a plus b here the bar represents the o invert or the opposite sign you can see that in the or gate it was uh, o equals to a plus b here it is o equals to a plus b and the bar is above that which means that it will be opposite of the or gate and uh, here the two table proves it in case of the or gate it was when the both of the input were zero so the output was also zero but here when both of the inputs are zero so the output would be one and uh, you can see that in case of the or get when any of the input is uh, one or both of the input are one so the output was one but in this case when both of the input are one or any of the input is one so the output would be zero so by uh, in this case when the making of the nor gate uh, the things they were going to use are the wires the breadboard or get ic and the ic number is 7432 node get ic number 7404 leds and the voltage source okay starting it uh, but before making of uh, of the node get we will just make a or get all these uh, wires and connections and um, after that we will make a node get so first we are going to make uh, that uh, make an or get placing an uh, IC of the OR gate as shown in the uh, in the breadboard uh, inserting um, a wire on the top at right side of the IC and connecting it with the positive side of the breadboard now inserting another wire with the left corner and connecting it with the negative side of the breadboard here in the breadboard I have assumed that this one this one going to be the positive one and this one is going to be the negative one but one can uh, make it for example if one uh, one wants to just assume it this one is a positive one and this one is the negative one so it would work and because it doesn't matter whether you are going to use this one side this one this one or this one so it's up to you uh, I am assuming in this one that is going to be my positive and this one is going to be my negative uh, some uh, in the previous video you can see that I have used only these columns this one was positive this one was the negative but here I am just using this one is a positive and this one is negative so just for simplicity and that the and the wire that you can see easily the connections for that reason i have uh, used this one as positive and this one is negative so it's up to you uh, whether you are going to use this one or this one side okay it doesn't matter okay now uh, basically in the in the gate of the or gate uh, the first two are inputs and the third one is output so in this what would uh, we do uh, placing uh, now inserting the, the input a wire at the top left side of the breadboard and inserting it to the negative side of the breadboard you can see this one is the yellow wire which is basically represent the input a wire and I'm inserting this one in the negative side of the breadboard here it is the negative side of the breadboard 
now i'm inserting another wire which is input uh, input b wire and connecting it with a second in the second row of the ic this one in the second row of the ic now which is basically the second input and i am connecting in uh, another side of this wire with the negative side of the breadboard here you can see i have connected it with the negative side of the breadboard this one this one is basically the negative side of the breadboard now i am giving and i am uh, taking a connection from the output and inserting an uh, the first uh, side of that uh, wire in the output and the, uh, leaving the other side as it is now in this the led is going to be used for the verification purpose so uh, before that uh, you one should know that in this in uh, led one is uh, one side is negative and the other side is positive so the the long one side this basically this one is a positive and this one is a short one and this one is a negative moreover there is a slide cut on and in, 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 in such an led the slide cut basically represents the positive and the another represents the negative side okay so you can see i have placed the LC, uh, led in the breadboard uh, moreover before placing uh, um, before moving forward i want to know uh, i want to tell you that i can place led anywhere in the breadboard without these rows and these columns uh, these rows and these rows are basically occupied by the ic and these columns are basically for the voltage sources but without these rows and these columns i can place led anywhere in the breadboard i can place it here i can place it here i can place it here anywhere in the breadboard depends upon you now i'm giving basically a ground to led or connecting it with the negative side of the breadboard so for that purpose i am just taking a wire and inserting it with the negative side of the led and connecting it with the negative side of breadboard you can see here i have done it as like it okay now the output wire that we have that we have taken uh, uh, this one was the output wire the blue one that basically represents the output wire i am just placing this wire in the positive side connecting it with the positive side of the led uh, through which we will verify the true travel of the OR gate these are basically the close connections okay before uh, moving forward i just want to tell you that in uh, in this ic there are basically four gates which means there are basically four or gates but i have used only one, one gate for example uh, this one uh, i am using this one gate gate number one there are more gate gate number two gate number three gate number four so you this one uh, input a input b and this one is output the, these three the, this one is this, these three are basically gate number one if i want I want to use these this one gets or no, some sometime it happens uh, sometime it happens that a, a person needs more than one get so in, in that case you do not have uh, you do not have uh, uh, to insert another ic but instead uh, i can take connection from the other uh, side basically in which this this one is get number two get number three and get number four accordingly so in this input a input b input our output sorry so this the, these are for uh, get number one now the next the others are input a input b and output these are for get number two and then input a input b and output these are for get number three and uh, input a input b and output these are for the get number four there are some other close picture in which you can see the output wire is being connected with the positive side of the led and this one negative is being connected with the uh, negative side of the breadboard now the voltage source is going to be used, uh, going to be used uh, in this X, uh, verification I am just you know as I have assumed this one is the positive side and assume assume this one is the, as a negative side so for that reason I am connecting it uh, the, the positive side of the battery here and the negative side of the battery here uh, you can see that the LED is off uh, which means which is uh, basically verifying the first condition of the two table of the OR gate uh, according to which when the both of the input are being connected with the negative side or when the both of the input uh, are zero so the output would be zero so you can see these 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 wire basically represents the inputs that are connected here with the negative side of the breadboard which means that it, the both of them are zero so the output is uh, zero now i am giving the input a wire a uh, one which means that i am giving it with the positive side of the breadboard and led gets on which is uh, we define the second condition of the two table of the or gate now i am just giving the another wire uh, uh, z uh, one and this uh, wire zero so which is i'm i'm that i'm verifying the third condition of the two table of the or gate according to which when one input is zero and the other input is one so the output would be one now when both of the input are being connected with the positive side of the breadboard which means that both of the inputs are one 
so the LED would be uh, on which means the LED would be on so these were the four, four condition of the two table of the or get and that are being verified now as I've told you earlier that and the, basically in this in this IC they are more than uh, one get this one get one get two get three get four so I'm uh, as I've used get number one I'm just for verification purpose I just want to tell you that we can also use other gets for the so for that reason I've just uh, changed the connection and uh, given this one uh, the remove the inputs for outputs from here and given the inputs and output here so you can see I have just connecting uh, this um, our input a wire in the fourth row of the IC input B wire in the fifth row of the IC and input a C wire in the sixth row of the IC uh, output sorry output uh, output uh, are in the seventh row or uh, sixth row of the IC and uh, still the LED is on and it's verifying so which means that basically they are present uh, the gate the which is proving the presence of the second gate now you can see I'm uh, I've used the third gate in this both of them are inputs and this one is output and LED is still on which is uh, proving the presence of another gate in this IC and this one you can see the fourth gate I've used in this one the fourth gate in which this one is input this one input and the last one is output and still LED is on which is proving that the uh, presence of the gate number four now actually at uh, the purpose of uh, the, the purpose of today video is the making of the node gate so for that purpose as we have verified the or gate now the uh, now what we will do we will just remove the vo voltage source and for, so, so that we can make an or gate and so we have removed the voltage source and you can see the voltage source has been removed now i am placing a node gate you can see this one is a node gate this, these whole con uh, connections are being for the for the or gate but this one is a node gate i have not connected i have inserted anywhere yet here okay so this one is a node gate i have just inserted a node gate in the uh, breadboard now is uh, uh, according uh, accordingly and uh, i have given as i have given the connections to the uh, to the or gate i see that was the first one the first row basically present the first uh, right row basically present the positive one so as uh, in this ic i have also given the positive connection so i uh, have so in the node gate i will also give uh, the positive basically in all the ic's the first uh, the left of uh, the, the first uh, left side of the the first row of the left side of the ic basically represents uh, the positive one VCC which basic is basically VCC so for that reason you know giving I'm a connection I'm connecting this one with the positive side of the breadboard and you, you know uh, this one is the negative side and I'm connecting this negatives with the negative side of the breadboard and all the as, as I've told you earlier that all these IC work accordingly this one basically present the positive so in all the AC you have to connect this one with the positive and this one with the negative and all the ICs okay now what you will do the output wire that was being connected with the positive side of the led you will remove uh, that output wire and insert in the input of the node gate basically this is uh, this uh, this was the output and this output had become the input input for the node gate so you will uh, just remove this output from the led and you will place it in the input of the node gate now you will take a connection from the node gate and this and that uh output and that output would be connected with the positive side of the led you can see this one i have uh, taken a connection from the output of the node gate and this is being done this black wire basically represents the output of the node gate which is being then connected with the positive side of the led so you can see i have then i have used the node gate now now this is basically the total connection of the node gate which means that now the, the the phenomena of the or gate has been finished now whatever uh, the the led would do that will verify the total table of the nor gate which means that now it has become a nor gate it's no it's now uh, the or gate phenomenon has been finished now it's a nor gate now uh, you the connecting the uh, the battery and the uh, the LED is off because both of the input are one and that is connected with a positive uh, terminal now you can see that the both of the input that was being taken here are being connected with the positive you you can see positive side of the breadboard and the LED is off which is the uh, 
uh, which is verifying uh, and which is according to the uh, true table of the node gate when the both of the input are one so the output would be zero which is the fourth condition of the true table of the ic and it is verifying the fourth condition of the true, uh, the true table of the uh, nor gate that when both of the input are one which means that the both of the input is being connected to the positive side of the breadboard so the output would be zero and the led is off now i'm just uh, you know giving um, inserting one wire in the positive side another in the negative side but still the led is off which is verifying the second and the third condition of the root table of the nor gate according to which when any of the input uh, is one and other is zero so the output would be zero which means the led would be off now when the both of the inputs you can see the, these input these inputs when the both of the inputs are being connected with the negative side of the breadboard so the led would get on which is the f uh, first condition of the true table of the uh, nor gate uh, according to which when both of the inputs and both of the inputs are uh, zero so the led would uh, so the output would be one which means the led would ge gets on so get on so which is verifying the first condition of the node gate so all the condition has been verified and and now uh, you can see this is the i have proved that it is totally a node gate by just changing the wires and just uh, changing the inputs so basically this one is just a, a node gate it was all about the making of a node gate there basically some close picture of the connection that i've been uh that i've given and uh, you can see this these connections some of the other connections you know this one is the input and this one is output moreover in this in this ic you know there are four gates but in this one ic which is basically a node gate ic they are basically six gates six gate which means that i can use other gates too for example this one i can use this this one gate number second gate number third gate number four gate number five and gate number six, uh, six. so in this ic there are also six gates so i so it's up to me whether i'm going to use this one gate uh, this one gate number second gate number third gate number four gate number five and gate number six so uh, one should know about this some of the other pictures so close picture you can see this one the first row and this one is the second one this one is basically the uh, output that was been taken from here and they, this output has become the input in this node gate and this one is the output and this output is being then connected with the positive side of the LED okay so thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe my channel being educated for more interesting videos thank you for watching